If you're tired of using the same old transitions and effects in your videos, listen up. What we're gonna cover in today's video is gonna be how to add some dope freeze frame and roller scope transitions and effects to your next video, all with a single click. There's a few different type of ways to freeze frame and rotoscope. You can use masking, you can use AI, you can use After Effects, and we're gonna cover a few of those in today's video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Adam. I run a platform called AKB Studios, where I help filmmakers, editors, just like yourself, speed up their editing time and streamline their workflow so they can edit videos faster and impress their clients. But without further to do let's go ahead and get into the video but if you're new here welcome to the culture i'm dropping new videos every week go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video if you guys do enjoy the video go ahead and leave a like it helps me out a lot and while you're at it go ahead and follow me on instagram where you can stay updated with what akb studios is doing and also get access to early drops when i drop a new preset or editing pack but let's go ahead and hop into the timeline all right, so now we're in the video editing software and what we're gonna be covering today is pretty much how to use my newest preset pack, the freeze frame and rotoscope presets. In this pack, you'll get a ton of stuff that you can use to add some dope freeze frame effects to your video. As you can see, we have some transitions right here, also some cool effects, some clone effects and trippy effects as well. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how to use these. But first things first, we either need to freeze frame or rotoscope our footage. So what we have here is just two clips from one of Central C's music videos. What we'll be able to create is something dope like i showed you guys in the beginning of the video so what you want to do first is go ahead and export your two clips or export whichever clip you want to freeze frame what we'll do is we'll go ahead and navigate to a online video editor that uses ai so we can rotoscope a website that i use is called runway runway ml so what they do is they use ai logic to go ahead and remove the background or rotoscope what you do is you first you'll create an account and then you'll go ahead and just drag your footage on here and it's super simple guys once it finishes loading all you do is just click an area where you want to mask and it uses AI to track your subject, rotoscope it out with a single click. So it's super simple. And once it's done, you'll see that it has your subject tracked. If it doesn't do it all the way, no worries. Just go ahead and click on the spots that it missed. And now it went ahead and tracked and rotoscope all of our subjects. So let's go ahead and preview it. So it looks like it did an amazing job. It pretty much tracked our subject completely. So what you'll do next is you'll go ahead and go to done masking. As you can see, it made a green screen clip of our video. So what you'll do is you'll just go to export. If you want to export in a higher resolution, you can do that if you want to pay for it. But I just use the free version, so it exports in 720. But it's not a really big deal because our transition or effect is going to be very short. So maybe around one to three or four seconds. So you just go ahead and press export and then it'll take you to the assets page. And what you'll do is you'll go ahead and just download it once it finishes exporting. If you want a full tutorial, on how to use runway ml to rotoscope your video i made an in-depth video on how to do that and i'm going to link it in the pinned video above and also in the link in the description as well so once it's done exporting you go ahead and come over here to your assets tab go ahead and press download here and then you just go to your downloads tab and then go ahead and bring in your rotoscope clips so what you'll do is you go ahead and just pick the scene that you do want to transition so i want to transition from this clip to the next one so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and just make our transition 15 frames so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and make a cut right here so one two three so i held shift and went over to the right three times so that goes over 15 frames then what i'll do is I'll go ahead and just drag um, our original clip backwards and then what we'll have is our transparent rotoscope clip like that i'll go ahead and drag that like this bring that over on top of our clip and then just drag that to remove the excess and here's what it's going to look like without the effect so go ahead and play that and you guys can see what i'm talking about so we have a rotoscope clip, it just transitions into the next clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a dope freeze frame effect for my new preset pack. What we can do is we'll just grab a simple one. Let's just grab fly and left. Guys, literally just drag and drop your effect onto your clip right after it's done being rotoscoped and you have an instant freeze frame slash rotoscope effects. Super dope. Let's go ahead and try another one. So here's a bounce in. Super clean. And guys, there's tons of effects to choose from. So let's go ahead and let me show you a clone effect. These are actually really dope as well. So let's just go ahead and use um, this clip right here because it's super wide. You have a wide angle. There's a lot of space to work with. We have our rotoscope clip. Let's go ahead and try some clone effects. So what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and duplicate your clip. Let's just go ahead and duplicate it um, one, two, three, four times, right? And we're going to leave this first clip alone just because that's going to be the main clip. And we also have our background clips. So we're going to leave that alone as well. So we're just going to mess with these three clips right here in the middle. 
middle. So what you'll do is you'll navigate down to your clone tab and you have a few different options to choose from. You have all these clone effects right here. You also have some multi-clone effects as well. Let me just show you guys the basic clone left and clone right. So here's a clone right where he just, it just steps out. And as you can see, center C, there's two of them. You can also clean up the green screen just a bit. If you just go to mat cleanup, minimize the choke point. So it looks a little better just like that. Same thing, you go clone left. That looks super sick to be honest. So that's just some of the stuff you can do with the preset pack. And guys, I literally just dragged on these clips because I've already pre-keyed and animated them for you. As you can see, if you do want to adjust them, you can come into the effects control panels and adjust the keyframes and animate it how you like. But that's just the simplest form of how to use the pack. Here's some ghost clone in and out. So we go to left and right. So let's go ahead and preview that. So as you can see, just a cool effect, a ghost clone in and out. Looks pretty cool like that. And there's also a ton of other stuff that you can check out. Let's just go ahead and do the multi-clone and we'll finish up here. So here's some multi-clone slide up. So as you can see, there's three of them. So what you do is you'll go ahead and just put the clone one on the first clip, clone two on the second clip, and clone three on the third clip. So go ahead and watch this. So one, two, three, just like that. Looks super dope. And obviously keyframes are a little bit longer for this clip since these are just a one second clip. And then we have some effects that you can use on top of your effects. So let's go ahead and bring these down again and just use another transition. So let's go ahead and use the twitch in. So this is what that looks like. Little twitch in like that. And you can grab these color effects and let's just grab the LSD color. Let's go ahead and preview that. So it looks just like that. It just twitches in to our next clip and it's pretty simple like that. So we have like a tr cool trippy look and you also have these trippy effects as well. Here's a bubble effect. Pretty cool. But those are the simplest ways where you can spice up your video and add dope rotoscope and freeze frame effects to your video. And like I said before, if you do want a full in-depth rotoscope tutorial, go ahead and click the link in the description below and it'll take you to one. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to the channel because I drop new videos like this every week. Leave a comment down below telling me what you thought and what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'm out guys. Peace.